Good morning, CCAT. I'm Nicole Placencia, and here's your CCAT news around the depot for this week. Are you ready for change? Well, that was a question posed by our commander, Colonel Christopher Carlisle, and the response has been positive. Nearly 98% of the votes collected were a yes. Haven't voted yet? Well, it's as easy as the click of a button. Navigate to the CCAT homepage and cast your vote today. Don't forget that there's also an opportunity for you to be a catalyst for change by joining a leading change team. And to highlight some of the positive changes taking place, we'll start with the renovations around the depot. We caught up with Harry Falcon, a civil engineer here at CCAD last week to see the progress being made in MES 1 as well as MES 33. It'll be in wide open areas you see here that will be full of uh, cubicle spaces which will provide the actual owner uh, ability to move things around, um, put people he needs where he needs them, um, and it'll uh, basically provide more flexibility is, is the big thing. Before there was actually four offices in here. Again, um, they were all kind of just clumped together. They had these big dividing walls. It was a little, little cramped, not as bad as other places. Uh, what we ended up doing was knocking all that out and again open up the space and to meet current codes and regulations provide a more efficient use of the space itself. These are just a few of the positive changes taking place around the depot. Well, it's time for CCAT to say so long to the UH1H Huey. The Huey's history with the Army spans more than 50 years, being used heavily during the Vietnam War. Introduced during 1959, the Huey's numbers grew to more than 7,000 in Vietnam and more than 16,000 serving worldwide. Many of the helicopters spent time at CCAD getting repaired after flying and fighting in the Vietnam era during the 1960s and 70s. CCAD will have an official send-off ceremony this Tuesday, June 21st at the seawall east of Hangar 47 outside of the designated CCAD flight line. Now, the ceremony is scheduled from 2.30 to 3.30. Keep your eye out for an official email announcement for more details. Okay, CCAD, it's time to get fit. Short for fitness and training, CCAD Safety and Occupational Health Department is hosting a contest much like the TV series The Biggest Loser. Teams of six will have 12 weeks to lose the largest percentage of weight of all the teams participating. There will be prizes for the most fit male, female, and team. The contest is open to CCAD's entire workforce, including contractors, and is on a voluntary basis. You can join a team or create one. So far, nearly 200 people have signed up with team names like Notorious Bigs, Chubby Chasers, and Weight Warriors. Think your team can face off? Well, it's not too late to sign up. For a full list of the fit contest rules, you can visit the Safety Internet page. Well, that does it for this week's edition of CCAT News Around the Depot. Until next time, I'm Nicole Placencia. Have a great week.